Thanks, Kimpton. Thank you. It's good to be here. And thanks, Frank. I have, yeah. It's a great venue and really top play here at the moment. And tables are a bit slicker and a bit tighter than what we're used to back home in Sydney. But yeah, there's a good crowd watching and it's a very nice room and everyone's very friendly. So I've had a great time this time. Yeah, you're right. The locals, they love it here. They, there's a good 30, 40 here, so that's good. Yeah, we're going for the soft break again. Yeah, yeah I don't think he got a ball. If he um, put him a bit harder instead of playing a soft break, he might have got a ball. Yeah, apparently in the nine ball, but uh, playing eight ball champ. Yeah, I'm just a beginner, so I'm not sure. Get in line. Get a number. But Joel, I must admit, I've mean, watched Joel's last two, two matches. He played hockey in the quarters. He's a Sydney boy, and... He looked at flaws, he played flaws against him and then he played Benny just not as you guys would have seen and played him really, really well. Just, just looking at it, it's just a bit of a class above, you know, he's been around for a long time. He's a master of all, all two sports. Uh, I might know him more from his snooker background, because I'm a snooker player from, um, from uh, a long time ago, you could say now, but yeah, he just looks, when he's on the table, he just looks like he's going to finish every time. Except this time. <laughs> he didn't want that. He wanted that for a stable pick for a bit of insurance to cover the seven and he could play that ball when he gets in trouble later on. But he is good, so I'm pretty sure he'll work it out. I think might pull that fellow off a little bit, but see how he handles himself. What season is that? That's true. I heard the two shots a bit like that, so everyone's pretty loud. I said phone a friend, doesn't mean I have to phone you. Yeah, no, it's, it's all over this phone. Did 
just drop this into the center. Land on the four, play the four down the, down the bottom. Yeah, so you can roll three for the six into the center. Oh, there you go, he's got a stun at a cross, play the six into the center pocket where the white is now. And then he'll play the eight into the pocket. So you just want to go straight on the six, but on the other side of the table. Come on, Jimmy! Beautiful. That's one nil, Delahunty. For TAB was putting uh, bets on, I'd say Joe will be paying a dollar seventy and Della Hunt will be paying two dollars. No, I don't think you'd be far off there. Joel's definitely uh, playing really, really good today. Yeah, that's what I was saying to Kimpton before. He's when he's in the balls he just looks like he's gonna finish every time and it's actually been I normally don't watch that much pool, but I've enjoyed watching this. Normally, uh, once I uh, get defeated, which is a uh, regular occurrence, I normally uh, make my way out the door. But I've stuck around and I'm enjoying it. That's because you've got nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Nowhere to go with no friends. We've got the people in the background having a bit of fun there. They're getting nice and cosy. They are. Shot to me! That was a great shot. So all the balls are open here. I say he's gonna play. He's on the small. Is that right, boys? Yeah, he yeah. is. Just lost track there. Just play the seven at the top. So this is his problem ball. You can say. He's in it. All over. Big pocket. Big pocket. There you go. Oh, that was a winning shot. That's six passes, which I think it was. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All over, you'd say. You'd expect the player at this stage to just do the business. Good. A little screw back in the three. Well, then a bit straight there. Yeah, then a bit straight. Might have a touch of angle and can maybe follow through the stun and a little bit of right his side. To come up for the two. Straight. He's got a decision to make now. You can try and double it back. It's a very risky shot. You can play a good safety. Good safety, yeah. Just hit the two into the cushion and let it come back down and try and sneak a little bit. There you go. Beautiful. First shot, and it's a safety shot, so I don't really do much here. Yeah. To the viewers out there, Joel, um, in his younger days, I'm talking about maybe eight, nine years ago, he used to play on the snooker professional circuit. Snooker's the 12 foot table, so he was pretty dominant there. He was in the top 96 at one stage in the world, so bringing that. Queuing on the big table and coming to the small table, he's had an advantage straight away. And as you can see with his technique and just his confidence about it, you can just tell he's 
polished. That's the word I'll use. He's a polished player. Yeah, he just keeps everything so simple. Well, yeah, he makes it look simple. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, I've been noticing his queuing is he's not moving more than five, six inches. He's just keeping very, very tight and compact. Yeah. Absolutely. Got a bit of safety exchange here. And, ooh. I think the 11 on. I don't know if he can get past it. 15 is it? I'm not sure. He's looking at it, so it looks like he can. Alright, so this is basically pops this, everything's open. Game over. So even though he's got 7 balls, you think he pots this, it's pretty much like a black ball game. There we go. Must be. Just a bit unfortunate there. It's not, a, yeah, it's not ideal, but maybe he's dropped his ball down, down the road. What is that? 15. 15, yeah. And he's fine. Mr. Lewis Condos right next to me. He's trying to make a bit of extra, extra red money, taking a bet on the. With that gentleman Hawk we're talking about. Yeah, I was telling the viewers that I'd say uh, Joel's paying a dollar seventy if he was in the TLB, so he's a he's a favourite, definitely. I wanted to take the bet on to be honest, so I could give Hawk the money back, but he didn't want to bet with me. I take money off mates. Well, you've answered your own question. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, any Before a tournament, that's different. I'm talking about not back in your ability. Just a simple bet. I just wanted a friendly hit before the tournament. Wanted to play eight ball, which this is the tournament. And uh, yeah, you wanted to play nine ball. So to the viewers out there, Lewis is right next to me, just talking to, into my ear, trying to put me off. No, not easy to do. Normally it's on the snooker table, or pool table, should I say. I remember playing with like in Dingley and um, I set the rack up for you and everything was tight and you, you get up and have a look at the rack and you go, are you serious? There's the biggest gap. And I have a look and they're all tight. <laughs> yeah. uh, he went for a double. For a wide one there. But look at the position if you had it. It was brilliant. It's not too bad. But, you know, it's not bad for uh, Joe either. He can attack if he wants, and the white's going to stay down here. So it's not too much to worry about. Oh, we got a safety here. Play the nine. Yeah, you, you can already see the, the tempo in the game's already slowed up from the last two matches. A lot more thinking, a lot more at stake, so... Yeah. It's a two horse race, as they say. He's going to go on the attack here. Um, no? Yeah, he's played. Played a double. Played a great shot, actually. Come on, Jimmy! Great shot. Jimmy G. Good, Jimmy! Jimmy G, mate! Bit of a rowdy, rowdy group behind us. He's called, called the five, I think. He's called the five. Just a slight swerve, and hit the two half ball, and then the one's going to hit the cushion, and then try and kiss the five. No, he's elected to play safety. Yeah, he really wanted the white on the other side of the two, just to make it a bit more difficult for uh, Joel. Pretty much easy picking from the uh, open table, just roll this down. <laughs> Might even kiss the four Oh, he's got the oh, yeah, there he goes, kiss the four Great job. 
just to get off the road, it just makes that a little bit easier. And it was good knowing that the white ball was going to go into the 14 or 40 in the pocket. Just a bit of added reassurance. This is what they call an ABC run out, ladies and gentlemen. What's that? Well, it's like one, two, three. It's easy to count to one, two, three. It's easy to say ABC, so this is what you call easy. <laughs> I think that's what they mean. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's really A, B, C. They're all close together, so it's just easy. Oh, he might go B, A, C. Well, he might. He might go B, C. <laughs> then he'd be in America playing in that league. To the hardcore pool players out there, they'd understand that. He's just thinking a bit more than he normally does, Joel. And um, the viewers out there might not be aware that there was the Victorian, uh, Victorian snooker championships on today, which Joel decided not to play in because um, basically he backed himself to win it. So um, the Victorian championship snooker, there was no prize money. It was just. Um, if you won the event, you got a full paid, fully paid entry into the Australian Championship for snooker. Ooh, well that's not what he wanted. But he can play a good safety from him. That's not a problem. The white ball's going to be at the opposite end of where the object balls are. Well, depending on where he leaves the 11, though. There we go. Della Hunt has just asked for a round to just have a look at this shot. When it's touching or it's close, you just need to tell him We've got uh, Kim. We've got Kim um, if you don't know who he is, he's the guy that looks like the cue ball on cue ball TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he did a bad job with the shaver last night. It doesn't look like a cue ball anymore. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's a, that's a good shot. That's class right there. Come on, Jimmy! Jimmy G. Jimmy G. He's nice. He's already, ladies and gentlemen. It shouldn't be too hard for James to do a safety here. Well, if he gets the white tight to the, the pocket, the leather's not potable, so that's what he's going to try and do. Get the five out in the open table and put the white on the side, on the right hand side of the table. There you go. He should play this game. He doesn't seem too happy about that. I think he wanted to uh, come to the middle of the yeah, middle to, diamond. I think you're right. He wanted to come a bit more. Yes. 
Pooh Bowl. the magic rack again just ensures that all the balls are as tight as possible touching as close as possible together and you get the best possible spread both these guys have big big breaks business happening and he's doing quite well so he hasn't been playing as much as he'd like but let's say he's enjoying life he said well it doesn't it doesn't look like he hasn't been playing much well you know he's played a lot in the past and it, it keeps him in um, a good stead so he, before the tournament he might do you know three or four hours here or there and it'll just get him going especially the round robin matches yeah uh, he's a snooker background as well so playing on these more generous size pockets, he's always going to feel a bit more comfortable. He's actually performed the, be uh, the best out of all the fires in the groups. Dropped only one frame. Oh yeah, that's right, he was the number one seed. He dropped one frame. Did really well. That's our uh, dominance. One all, James the break. He's got a big break. Plays very right eye dominant as well. Yeah, I noticed that. Look at that. Yeah. It amazes me that you can break the balls that hard and nothing will go down. With a magic rack too. With a magic rack. Yeah. Well, he's only got the 14 up the top left corner, above right of the screen. Uh, I think I'll just roll it. Yeah. He's thinking about the 11, the 15's on. 
Is it? Or if it was it on, if it's not on, then what he can do is um, he can start off two rails now and kiss it out. And he's going to land on the 11, possibly in the centre or the 14 in the middle of the table. So he's got a couple of options. Oh, he's playing it now. He's playing the top, so he's playing for the top. Caught in no man's land, right? He might be able to chop. He might be able to chop the. Uh, sorry, cut the leg in there. Come off three rails or two rails. Or two rails. Fifteen. Near yeah, the one ball. No, he's going for the twelve. Come around. For the ten. Oh, he's hit the ten. He's asking for trouble. The right ball. Oh, he's landed. Very fortunate. From, from here we can see it's perfect. Looking on the screen and looking at the tail, it's a completely different angle. Well, it's just a question of whether this 15's on or not. Yeah. Well, judging by the way, so it's on my 16. That 15 is. I think he might play 15 next, to be honest. He just has to roll the wheel in the old hands. If he thinks he's on, all he does is roll it in and get a generous kiss off the line and he'll land on the other one into the center. He'll probably play with a bit of uh, right. Yeah. Well, if, it, if it's on, if it's not on, he has to play with a bit of left. Just to keep it in. It looks like it's on. <laughs> It's going really quiet here at the moment. Yeah, the, I think there's, you know, it's very tense at the moment. Oh, so he just wasn't on. He had to see how he played it with screw at the left hand side just yeah. to try and Kick change the angle. So it just wasn't on. Oh, well, he's, uh, looks like he's coming up the pocket though. Yeah, he might have covered up the pocket, but he's always got a bit of work to do. There's six pockets. There's always options in this game. See that five might not go into that pocket, Just but it. it'll go into the centre pocket off the one. If you land correctly. Looks like it's on, but yeah. the way he's looking at it. Oh, it's way on. Good to have some Sydney representation here. Yeah, it'd be nice to have them well, further in the yeah, tournament. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> recommend all the, the Sydney guys to come down if it, if it does happen again next year. Yeah, well, I was speaking to the owner and he, and he said he'd like to try and make this an annual league thing. Yeah. And um, if he could, that'd be great. But he needs the support of the players. So yeah. If we do have, have it again, try and come out here. There's good accommodation, good packages with certain airlines. And um, really enjoy it. We play a lot of matches, round robin. We're playing at least 25, 30 frames against good quality players. Good tables as well. Great tables. I've noticed a lot of two shot players have a, having a go and doing quite well. And that's the end of that frame. 2 1 to Jimmy. And we'll just wait for this ball to set up and we'll start commentary again.
Okay. Here we go. We got Joel breaking. So the score is 2 1 James. Joel broke. What a two balls. Okay, it's open table. Just having a quick look at the table. I think maybe. Maybe the smalls might be the better option. Let's start off with the one. You've got the three and the five. Take, take those balls. And then you've got the two. How do you, uh, oh yeah. And then the six. Actually, what I would do, which I'd actually play the one first, leave myself in the middle of the table, play the two, and then play the two. Balls up and still leave on the three. So, you know, you always try and leave an insurance ball. It looks like it might be a plan right now. Three ball plan, seven, eleven, six. There's a lot of options. That's the beauty of this game. Seven to eleven, huh? Open all day. All day, 24 7. That's how they got their names. Do you know that? They opened the uh, first day of trade was on the 7th of the 11th. And they named it. Someone told me that, whether it's true or not, but I'm yeah. going to run with it. it. Sounds good. Why don't they call it 24 7? Because um, there's no month. There's, after 12 months, there's no. can't have a 24 month. <laughs> there you go. He's played, he's played the three people playing. It's still on. It's still on? Yeah, it's still on. Can't tell from, uh, from here. Yeah, it's on. Oh, no one in one. Number one's there. It's here to the old man. It's to drop it in and then on the trail. It's a hard one. It's going to be a good two by your mind. Get cannon into the fire. This is what we want to be on the two. So it's better to hit the ball firmer than soft. Yeah? But that way you still got options. The coverage is great. Cue ball team do a great job. Yeah, come on, Stu. On the fight, like I said, but it's going in that direction. It doesn't look like he's got the angle that he wanted. It's alright, just screw it up. And then you'll play much better at the top or into the centre. Okay, so it wasn't straight. Actually, I don't know if he's got any again. It might have been straight. Uh, just off, I think. Might be able to just uh, roll it through and play black in the left centre. cushions and playing the black into the opposite pocket. Doesn't look like he's liking this angle. Should be too difficult though.
De La Hunty to Blake. Beautiful ball in the centre, ball in the left hand side, ball in the centre again. Wow, ball's going in everywhere. Four balls down on the break. His middle name is Jeffrey DeLuna. Terry's looking at me like he doesn't understand. He's uh, got one of the biggest breaks in the pool game at the moment. Amazing. He's from the Philippines. Joel's um, eating an apple. The freak that he is, health freak. Well, I haven't had a chance to eat all day. Nice break. No, he didn't, but um, I don't think Joel's going to pull him up on it. It's pretty obvious. The rules state that you must. Like your first ball? Yeah, you do, yeah. Not many people pull you up on that. I know some people that would, though. Not mentioning any names. It's all right. It's a public forum. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Jimmy Walker. Mm. Yeah, it's a shot. I think he's back to miss, but he's covered the 14. Funny saying that. Joel can just run the 15 through, then play the 9, then pan it into the 14. So he can still be stirred now. Right? Mm -hmm. Is anyone on the online uh, chat? Can they let us know if they're enjoying that commentary or they wanted to talk about something else? Gemma, you were the last person to post something. Eight yeah. minutes ago. Where are you from, Gemma? You a keen player? Here you go. Jono! Jono! How you going, brother? Looking sharp in that photo. Thanks very much, you. Good pull to watch. Jono said good pull to watch, and we've got some. Uh, response out there, so thank you for that. Yeah, that is great pool to watch. It's a bit tense though. These four frames have taken, I'd say, the best part of 20 minutes. So it's not so that they didn't even go 20 minutes. <laughs> so you can just tell, they just slowed it up a bit and they just concentrate. You know, it's getting towards, you know, delight. You know, so it's been Oh, he's hit that. Perfect. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see much better than that. Yeah, it's a black song in the, in, the, in the corner there. I think it is, mate. The way that he's played that. The way he's played that. Be off of the five. Unless, unless he was trying to kiss the black there, he might be right. But, no, I don't think so. He should be able to play off the cushion. Then. And come off the yeah, five. He could. I think it's just no. yeah. Come on, Jimmy! Very rare mistake by Joel. Joel went in off. It's the first time I've seen him going in off today. Mm. Just, just a bit of tension there and you can do that. You know, you can get so much reaction with these cues and these tables and just from the what he would have liked. Now a good chance for James to go up 3-2. Absolutely. That's how it changes. Now would you take the five first? I'd probably go the one. Come work my back one. Work my way back, back up this way. Yeah, 
I thought you liked it. I thought you liked the ABC game. <laughs> Good, this one's a nice generous bounce. And the room has gone quiet. Oh, yeah. Just just cue that and the ball just came back. Three two. Jimmy's composed, getting a bit of a bit of a crowd behind him, but he's just keeping composed, not smiling. Yep. His number one supporter there. There he is, that's Mr. Hock from Sydney. Loves his pool. Loves a bit of action on the side. A bit of betting that is. He backs himself and, and so he should, he's a great player. A lot of you uh, viewers might know him uh, as a $10,000 man. Had a big pool match with Benny a few weeks ago in Sydney. Came off second best, 31-21, but he was in there with a chance at 21-24 and uh, missed a routine run out. Uh, I'll call an ABC run out. <laughs> we'll be using that a lot tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And I um, mean, it was pretty much downhill from there, but he definitely was in the hunt. Maybe they should consider uh, uh, re redoing the numbering instead of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, three, two 15. Have an ABC. Absolutely. I call the A ball. <laughs> yeah. So we go to like we go to like letter J or M or what would we go to? That P? No, you, 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 would, you wouldn't call it A ball anymore. You call it H ball. That's what <laughs> Yeah. It's too confusing for me. I like numbers. A little bit of determination on Joel's face. Oh, he's really going to take this one to, to, to keep the pressure up. Yeah, I want to say it. He's going to clear up this frame. No, I can't. I, if you I guys want to go and get a too. coffee or something, go, because it's, it's going to be real. Go and get a coffee, come back, and ready for the next frame. It's real. I'm calling it Chris Color Breeze right here, right now, at 9:38 p.m. He's calling it. So you got about four minutes before the next rack. Go and do what you got to do. All right, Jono. Stop blow drying your hair, Jono. All right. He said, stop blow drying your hair. I said, you've got four minutes to do whatever you like. So turn the blow dryer off. It's a bit awkward. Okay, it should be fine. It's a bit awkward if you're on the smalls, which I just lost my concentration. I thought he was on the smalls. <laughs> so no, he's landed actually perfect. Still be easy picking from you. On this 11, get him on the right angle with the 12. Yeah, absolutely. Put a bit of check on it. Bit of check. There you go. If you were playing Street Fighter, when you finish the game, you hear the guy say, it's perfect. That's exactly what he's got here. A perfect run out. And I called it. Two, mi two minutes ago, I called that. If it's not Mortal Kombat, it's finish him. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Get over here. Finish him. That's cool. Man. All right, we'll be back in... Uh, Minute or so. <laughs>
you play for a week. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the scores at three all. Race to eleven. James Delante to break. He unleashing this one. Had a really good break earlier on. Four balls off the break. Oh, now you get nothing. That's cool for you. See, James is much more thick, and I'd rather just get one ball for the next four racks instead of four balls in one rack off the break. If only it was that simple. But still, a bit of work to be done. I think Joel will have this covered. Oh, I think you wanted to kiss that. You wanted to kiss the 15. But it's not still bad. okay. Yeah, it is okay. But it's All the balls are on. All the balls are on. The 10 would probably be his most typical ball. Actually, I think you'll leave the 10 into the last shot. Down this end with it. Just play the 10 into the corner pocket at the end. Yeah. So I reckon you'll maybe play the 10 and the 9. 9, 10, 9. And again, you know, there's a lot of options there. Just depends where he lands and what shot. Okay, so he's looking at the 10. He'll land on the 10 in a way where he's got the option of the 10 or the 9. Always trying to give yourself options in this game. Never leave, never play for one ball. If there's an option to play for two balls, play for two. No, I think it's going to go to 10. Yep. And then the 9 afterwards, and the last two balls up yeah, here. Yeah, you're right. You're get a 10 to 9, and then the ball closes to the black. Like the 13 into the centre. I was playing for 12. That's what I'm doing. He's got the line that he wanted. Depends exactly where he wants it. Whether he takes the 13 or the same first, basically. Oh, I think you'd have to go the 13 first. Yeah. Well, he's landed a bit straight on that 9, so they're not going to pop it out and play the 13. He's not going to screw back and then play the 14 first. James,
Okay, so just let you guys know the prize money breakdown for the final is um, the winner will be receiving two and a half thousand cash. That's two thousand five hundred, and the runner will be receiving one thousand. This is a non-ranking event. But in saying that, majority. So it's a cue ball TV ranking event. But in saying that, all the majority of the of the better players are here, so it's it's it's, it's a lot of uh, pride to win this event for sure. A lot of respect amongst the boys that we get up and win this tournament. I was speaking to Lewis a couple earlier on. And he was saying, uh, "We've got so many good players here. You're a good player. Don't come here and expect to win." That's right. No, you're exactly right. There are a lot of good players and playing race to eight, race to nine, they're only short races. Man. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. You, you miss one or two balls and before you know you could be four or five nil down and the game the match gets away from you. So yeah, it's very good that Paul o, Paul Palo were able to run this event and put up the prize money, guaranteed the prize money. Which is great for us. We've had um, some venues in the past run a tournament, but they can't guarantee it. They always say subject to injuries. So it, it was good that uh, a pool business or parlor guarantee it and get the numbers that they deserve. They got close to 80 runners, which is great, great to see. It's a great turnout. Everyone had fun. I wish you were here, Jono. Could have had uh, some good, good talks. Talking about Vegas, you just come back. Talking about Thailand. Talking about Vegas, uh, I think uh, they're going to. Uh, Pula is going to be running a uh, uh, VNEA, le VNEA league. Yeah, that's right. Pula's going to. So, um, he's starting up a league. I don't know if it's actually started yet. Or he's, he's trying to build it up more, or he's trying to start it, but... He's, he's, he's getting interest. Like he's getting interest at the moment, correct. So, yeah, what it is, it, it, it's, a, it's a weekly tournament. Um, pool league, normally a, it's a five-man team, based on handicap, so everyone's got a chance. You play over 15 weeks. And, it can be a 20-week season. 15, 20-week, whatever structure they decide to do. You pay so much per week, and the winning team at the end is guaranteed a trip to Vegas, fully paid for, to represent Australia in the VENA. VENA. That's the one. I won't say that again. Have you been there before, haven't you, Chris? I have been there before. That was called the BCA when I went, or the oh, one, yeah? two, three. <laughs> no, actually, there is, there, there two, is three, one. There, there, there is actually a league over there called the BCA. Um, it's actually on two weeks before the other league, which. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, Vegas is a, it's a great place to go and play pool. Oh, it is. We've got about two, 250 pool tables set up in the auditorium and everyone just plays pool. We've got about 7,000, 8,000 people there. And it's a wow factor. It is a wow factor. You, you actually, yeah, you, you take a step back and just look at it and you go, wow. I've never seen that many pool tables in one life in one spot. Mm, it's great. There's some footage, not the nine footers that we're playing on now. The seven footers in the pockets. They're called bar boxes. Actually, I think they've changed the tables now, have they? No, they're still playing on, they're still playing they on the valley tables. Okay. Yeah, I thought they changed the valley tables. Diamonds, but, but, but. Oh, the BCA, playing on diamonds. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the 231. 231, correct. Exchanges there, and then, then the pot outs there, it's, it's been made. That's all you can really ask for. There's been a bit of interest through, uh, throughout some of the other pool halls in the city centre here, thinking about uh, 
possibly winning the tournament after seeing the interest that they've got here with their amount of runners. So that's good to know. Hopefully something can happen later on during the year or next year. But it'd be great for the game. James's dry broke again. Oh. Yeah, like I said, you, you wish you could just have one ball every uh, every frame for the next ball. Instead of having four in your hand. At this stage of the tournament when you find three and you've got a break, it's so important to ball to break. You feel like you've lost already once you don't get a ball to break. TV balls are the colour of the of the balls are a bit different, the shade colour. But anyway, so now we've got the ten. Let's have a look at the eleven. See if it's on the middle pocket. Yeah, it's on by a mile. So you, you play the thirteen onto the eleven last. The eleven onto the eight. And then we're just gonna take the easy picking. Play the fifteen on the right. We'll play the 13, the 11 into the centre, and then the 8 back into the pocket where he's playing the 15 now. That's the way I'd play it. And that's the way I should play it. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on, on where he lands on one angle. He's always got options there. But that that would be his um, pattern that he would have thought of when he got down on the shot. It's all about patterns. All the balls are already potted, and it's just find the easiest way to make that white ball move the least amount. Yeah, I think he's uh, having some cross now, considering playing with 13. Run the 11 up. I think he's going to play the drag stun. Lewis is um, giving that job to encourage him. Just um, pretty much played a standard shot, and Lewis has really jumped out of his seat saying, What a great shot. I think he's back in goal, that's why. How you do it. There you go. Oh, six three. Six three. Can you go for a tournament break? Maybe not. Nah, he's just doing the scores. Oh, so, um, 
Yes. Dolls breaking. What's the score? Six three. Six three. It's a ten frame, so that's a big dolls breaking. Please. 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 He's got a, I like his break. He plays a front ball and he normally gets one in the wing or up the top, top right hand side. There you go, there's the one in the. Oh, that's how it normally happens. He gets a double kiss and it goes in. <laughs> what did you call that? The uh, DCA break? Uh, that's the one. Yeah, he's it's good to be at the table. Let's put it that way. He really needs his frame. Just starting to get away from you now. See if he wins his frame and breaks and runs, he's only one frame behind. And that's how quick he'll be. In a matter of five minutes, you're one frame behind. He's just taking a bit of time on his shot. He just just wants to gather his thoughts. He's lost three on the trot, so he wants to really make sure of it. Just reassessing everything, just feeling, making sure he feels fine. And when he's ready, he just lets, let, let it rip. So. It's not too bad. Ten. Ten's on. Ten's on. He's fine. I think everything's on, he's just got to land correctly. Yeah. So, so we just land. Oh. If he puts land the thing. thing. That's a great shot. He has to force that ball in because really dead straight. That's a fantastic shot. Well, yeah, hopefully that, um... That's a little tall. That's on. That's on. Yeah. Happy days. That's a great shot, that last shot. A lot of people just watch it. I don't realise how hard that shot was. To force it in. And get the angle. And get the angle. Have to just go past the eight. Alright. And he's jacking up a little bit. Just a little stun. He's hampered by the rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Left. Can screw with left and get back around. Get back around. Well, if he can, he hits it a bit firm. He's got his he's got his options off the one in the center as well. Yeah, he's fine. There you go. Yeah. Made it look easy. Alright, so he might have to pay, pay off his money in general with deep screw. I mean, he's got a couple of screws. He's got a deep screw. I'm going to touch the side. Um, I don't want to put a curse on him, but he did miss his shot earlier today in the semi final, so I hope he's not thinking about that. And he'll just drop it in and then he can even stun it a little bit if he wants. Maybe he'll touch a screw. Beautiful. And there goes another frame. So now he's got the option. Now he's got the um, one thing out. Six four. Beautiful. World control. Very high class at the moment. Jono, you and me run a muck here, mate. The scenery is fantastic.
Yeah. Bit on the side, yeah. And I think the white will go directly into the cushion, side cushion, the right. Looking at it, your left. Uh, he's fooled everyone, including himself. The massive break, though. Yep, six four. Is the score? Chance for Joel. Extend his lead. Brendan Connors. Is he related to Sarah Connor? All right, ball in hand. When um, the opponent goes in off of the break, you get the ball. Was that off? Yes, that one's off the break. Yeah, I was, was going to say that John really made a foul there. I think it was a trick. It's a little trick. Just to try and act like he doesn't know what's going on. Sorry, one second. shoot from the line forward playing a ball forward of the line but he was going to be shooting the three ball which was behind the line and um, James being the gentleman that he is told Joel and um, Joel said thank you very much and now we're going to clear the table but um, yeah so it's very nice of Jimmy we're all mates here we all just want to play good ball so that was a good gesture by him good sportsmanship shot from Joel standards got all that room to land anywhere further down the table and he's on the six he's on the five possibly on the two in the center and he's landed short so when, trying to land perfect in this game it's not like Snooky don't have to land perfect you can land in the middle of the table and give yourself options but I'll just play the two now wouldn't it? Joel's just uh, reassessing what he wants to do here. He knows he's getting close to the line. He's landed short. It's alright. No, it is right. Drop those two in the center. Oh. It's not making it easy for himself. So he did land a little bit short, ladies and gentlemen, because by landing short, he, he was making the white ball go towards the line. If he landed higher, he wouldn't have went there. Oh, that'll be fine. 
needs to get his basics right, keep straight, just roll it in. Doesn't need to force a shot or anything like that. Jack and up. just has to roll it in, no good. So, as I say, he had an ABC run out and is just threw in his head in there somehow. So, by leaning short has um, made this all happen. I played that another ten times and it wouldn't happen. Straight on that shot. I just played into the center. Didn't realize I was. That's on. the way, Jimmy. You know what you made of, mate. Come on, brother. <laughs> Too easy. Come on, mate. Should have been 7-4 and now it's going to be 6-5. Big swing there, it's the big swing of the match. You can really see the right eye dominance here. Come on, Jimmy! Come on! And the crowd goes crazy. Oh. <laughs> the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> we'll move it back shortly. Here we go, it's 6-5 um, to Joel, and um, Joel's breaking. He knows, um, he'll be feeling a bit under pressure now, knowing that he just let that last frame slip away. He should have been three, three in front, and now he's only one in front. Come on, Jimmy! Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy G, Jimmy the gun, Jimmy G. So um, Della at the table, he's um, on the bigs. And um, I don't know if there's a three ball plant there. Um, 
maybe it's better to play the nine first and then maybe play the plan. So the nine's open. Is he going to go into him now? No. So he's playing the nine. Maybe the 13's on. Can't tell from his camera angle. Looks like 13 is on. And then it's all good. It's all gravy, as they say. Maybe the straight. Oh, no, he's playing the nine now. Get in there. Mm. Oh, he's blocked the pocket. Blocked the pocket, but he's, he's still sick. Five other pockets. Well, four. In the other pocket. Um, here's um Ben Noonan just wants to say a few words. Just want to Terry whether you can tell me what it says in the shirt. Chip, been here for the last what, hour and a half. You haven't had much to talk about, just uh, not many, not much missing going on and uh, uh, something, uh, Army, uh, uh, Armani exchange. Jimmy's gone all uh, grand boy these days, he's making a bit of cash and uh, I think he's got the G-Star jeans on. He's looking class. A bit of muscle about him. He's the wind to break it. Yeah. Well, he has more drink all weekend, so I think it'll be alright. <laughs> but he needs to buy one. It's quite a uh, dangerous job because Jimmy is a rhythm player and a confidence player. If he gets a bit of a run on here, then it should be more like uh, what I thought from what I've seen about 8 4. Um, he's been a bit loose with it, I reckon he's going to stand it back and try and play it down the middle himself. He's tried to, and he has not made a good fist to it, and maybe it does go in the corner, but this is what Jimmy does. He so he just gets down, rushes it, hits it, and you just don't know whether he's going to knock it in. It's a really tough shot. It's really good. Very, very tough too. shot. He knows it too. Because he's probably only got a half shot. Three quarters of a pocket, but it looks good. It's a lot bigger table for the people at home and don't play on a nine footer. Shots like this. Yeah. It's, it's really hard with that blind pocket too, with the ball in the way. Like you just, it's really hard to work out where to catch the eight. And that's a massive. That's him in the match. I'm only playing the race for a little bit. It's American Eight Ball. As you guys probably mentioned, it's the whole game is based around the break at this sort of level. He's got a bit loose. Uh, still alright, he's got the seven at the top, but it's funny to see the mistakes. The mistakes. A bit of tension there. Eh? Like you said, it is funny to see Joel play a shot like that. It's he hasn't been playing like that at all. He hasn't shown any, any, what's the word I'm looking for? Any, uh, Emotion. Yeah. And um, he's just playing a little bit loose, but he's fortunate to have the seven over the pocket. So, he's still in the game. That's one of the last few lads. Um, Joel's gone bonehead, right? In the last probably six months. Shaved the hair off. And uh, looks like he's lost a bit of weight and he's got the G-star here, yeah. like Jimmy. The reason there's two richest men in the game, Hunter and Hunter, are actually... Uh, no, no, no. Um, but, 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 he's obsessed with the hat. I can't work it out. Why would you show the hat and show it off? And uh, then just wear the hat. Yeah. No, but... I just think he likes to stand out. You know, he, he wants us, he wants people to be talking about it, like we are now. So, yeah, you know, he's doing a lot more than how everyone that's going to watch it is just like, why is he not done it again in his way? Nah, I think it's I, I think I think it's an excess statement, mate. Right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's quite a complex question. But um, he does the old juice and black shoes. It's 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 a city. Wait, 
in the pool. In the pool world, yeah. 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 like trying to bring sexy back in the pool, the pool world, no? Just, uh, just roll the roll the four in off the side and have it to the middle. Bit of drag here. But I don't know if you've mentioned yet about the uh, size of the pockets here. I'm tired of doing most venues around Australia. I think the best table in Australia, but um, because they all sort of play the same. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's so shouldn't be too much drama. He, he does, he's very good at composing himself in this sort of situation. There's a lot of players you know, rush down and get it and just go, oh, I won't worry about that and miss it. He actually spends 20 seconds and make sure it's... He's a you know, professional What are you celebrating? Yeah. I was mentioning before that... Uh, He's qualified for that Goldfields tournament. He won the um, <laughs> City of Melbourne, which was held here last month. And the winner of that did get a spot. Jay! Kill him! Kill him! Did get a spot to Kill play him. in the world ranking of... <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be wild. There's a Mexican wave happening. <laughs> it's like France 98 all over. But uh, yeah, no, you're right. Like I said before, he's snooker background. He used to play snooker a lot. He was on the phone too at one stage. And now he's, um, for one tournament, he will be back on the tour. So it's good. And who knows what kind of result he gets, he might kick on from there and, and decide to play again. I know he's a busy man at the moment, he's got his, he's got his own pool in, in uh, Melbourne. It's called Slate. You don't want to Slate. get me angry. Um, Slate in Geelong, where everyone wears G-Star there. And baseball caps. You don't want to get me angry. Say everyone wears G-Star in Geelong. Yes, I did. No, no, no. I don't think it was Sydney, I don't know much about Geelong, but all I know is the Sydney Swans um, did give um, Geelong the sausage the other day in the AFL, so that's all I know about Geelong. And are you one of these one in a million people that actually follows the AFL in Sydney, Chris? Yeah, I followed it this weekend. I followed it this weekend, yeah. And they almost got rolled from six goals up, so there you go. Yeah, but they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. Um, so it's, a, it's a short court, uh, taller break now, and they're both coming back table shortly. But it's been a really high quality match. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, I've probably seen the second half of uh, the match so far. Um, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a worry for Jimmy. If he's, what is his score? 7 5. 7 5. As I say, he's a, he's a real confidence player, so uh, that black's not going to do him any favours. You know, Fairly easy clearance he had there, and that's right. Well, that's, that's, and that's butchered that's, it too. That's the way it happens in pool. You know, Joel two frames ago should have been leading by three, and he butchered a shot, and then it was only one frame in, and now it's back out to two. So that's the way the cookie crumbles. And there's plenty of time in this match still, but you just don't want to let it get too much away from it. It's a big break again. Two balls in the center, three balls possibly. Just want a bit of room. Yeah, white ball on rail on this table is never fun, but it's got, it got a basic pot to start. I think it just takes the five. It takes the five. This is a real basic clearance, actually. It takes the five, gets over the four. Um, doesn't have to get over the four now. It's got the seven in the middle or down the rail. It's, it's very, very basic. To go seven, six. They have both made, uh, from what I've seen, they've both made a lot more mistakes in this match than they probably have, in, yeah, uh, especially well, Joel. But yeah, especially Joel. I was, I was saying that earlier. Um, but it's getting to 10 o'clock or 10.30 nearly. Oh, it's a tough day. Tough no day. doubt about that. playing all day and it's a little bit of added pressure knowing it's a... I wouldn't say pressure, it's a tension knowing it's the final. So, um, they played the four like you said. 
lane in the middle of the game. So he's still, he's still out of it. But he's, he's still not on a string, is he? Yeah, no. that's, that's what, I've, what I've seen is Jimmy normally pots himself out of trouble because he's snooker background, and then that's what that's what half of us are really playing in this. So, um, but you really do want that white. It, it just takes the pressure off. You've got the white on the string for the majority of the day. You just feel that much more confident about everything. Um, Follow through this with a little bit of left hand side off two rails, land on the three, play the three in the center, land on the seven. It's all link corner. It? It that's that's what's um, at home. Like, it's about linking balls up. Um, it's about the right patterns. The right patterns, and and what you'll find is that what a lot of people don't realise, and there was guys like Stevie Tran that never played, uh, and Jake Carney, perfect example. That was a pretty average shot there. He's, he's got a little bit of pain, yeah, but he's still be fine. Follow through off always the right shot, but yeah, Jake. We're talking about Jake. Same Jake as his Steve Tran. Yep. First yep. tournament of making the semis, and um, yeah, he, and he I guarantee enjoyed you, if they if, if guys play come from two shot eight ball like Stevie Tran as well, did really well today. But if they come from two shot eight ball and play this American game, American pool, sorry, instead of nine ball, they will. Anyone that can hold a cue, two shot, it's got a bit of cueing ability, will be very good at this, no matter no matter what. If That's you, right. It's, it's when you get to 9-ball and 10-ball that things change a little bit. Because that's yeah. where oh, and the crowd's gone wild. Well, that's right. Playing the, playing the, playing the two-shot, you, you got the pattern. It's a smaller table, but you got the patterns there. That's right. And you'll, and you'll notice that the, the guys who made the semis um, are all uh, two-shot players. I mean, two-shot. Snooker and two-shot. Correct. Maybe Jake not so much with the snooker, but Definitely two you shot. see the pattern straight away. There's not as much thinking about it. That's right. Louis Combo is a good example of that. Um, Brilliant at 10 ball and 9 ball, but he just it takes him a little bit longer. Uh, he's standing right here, by the way, so I'm not giving him crap behind. Um, but it takes him a little bit longer to work out now because he's not, you know, he hasn't played two shots since he was a kid. So, um, and I know in Sydney they play a lot more of the American pool than they do That's 9 right, ball and they do. 10 ball too. So. Well, there's, there is no two shot in Sydney at all. So. Well, there's no two shot, but you play more of the of the pool than you do 9 ball and 10 ball. Over there. Correct. Yes. Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy G! Well, this is a really interesting part of the match. There's only, we're only playing a race to 11. Um, James got ball in hand. Um, has shoot from the line forward. Clears, clears up here and breaks and clears. He's in front. There's, there's no issues. I mean, it's just composing himself. I think the bigs, um, the stripes look, look the way to go. Only because the fives, you're only problem ball on the smalls. So, um, does look good. Oh, hang on, what's, what's he doing here? Did Jimmy tell it, Joel? It looks like he's not shooting from where he has a shoot. That's one of the best calls you'll ever see from Joel. Hold on, Joel. Joel just returned the favour because Jimmy did the same thing for him before. Just a little bit of lapse in uh, concentration there. So that's, a, that's a rule. That's, that's, that's a grey area in, uh, in the American, American pool side of it because you're... I've heard about four different start rules for, this, yes. for that exact thing. You're going off on the break. Well, uh, yeah, look. But okay. Well, there's, there's a there's a lot of speculation about the rule, and um, but we made the rules at the start of the tournament. It's, it is basically that you shoot forward from the balk line. You have to put the white behind balk or on the line, and you have to shoot forward of the balk line. That was the rules Correct. all weekend. So. Either neither of them have actually had it in off on the break the whole time, or they're just uh, they're doing about 12 hours of pool and they've lost the plot. <laughs> One yeah. or two. Well, it was good. It was good to see Joe step up straight away and say something. Cause, um, he well, he did look over here. So. Yeah, he did. And about seven games ago, um, James did the same thing for Joel. Yeah. Joel was doing it. Oh, that's good. That's so good. That's what we want. I mean, they're playing for decent money, here, so that's good to see. We're all friends here. We all just want to play good pool, so it's yeah. good. But Jimmy's a real... Jimmy's a little bit, he's a rhythm player, as I say he's a rhythm player, um, I know myself will go through the same thing, if you spend a little bit too much time trying to think about outs, you tend to, and you be the same Chris. Yeah, you tend to second guess yourself or just see too much of the table. Too, too, much, too many options yeah. and, you, and you start to what have issues that way rather than flowing. Yeah. I, I think this, this game is a flowing game whereas nine ball and, and uh, your ten ball is a, little, a lot more safety in I agree. This is all about flow, so... He normally um, does flow, but I'm just thinking it's getting down to the business end of the match and just, just making sure of it. 
Lewis, Lewis Kondo has just said that he doesn't find the game flowing at all. That's only because he takes him four days to work out how to pop out. Mm. I suppose. Yeah, so um, look, every opportunity to clear up. He's got to just compose himself and um, do the Looks bit. like he's only got half a pocket here, so he's Ooh. a little bit stressed about the... Uh, but it's, it's really just a... You know, he's tried to open up... He's got luck. No, he's got unlucky. I don't, I don't think he's played the right shot. Well, well, there was no need for that. Well, he could have screwed back. Yeah. He just played, played the 11 and the 10 down yeah. and then the 13. And exactly. That's what I was thinking. This is what, this is what we're talking about. Yeah. This is the business end. Yeah. Yeah. Brain just starts to explode at this time when you've I been playing for 12 hours. Yeah, what he was playing for a football point and he left him on the anyway, so. Yeah, you have to worry about it. He hit a very firm. But he can still play the 10 in the corner, as, as we say before this shot. You can still play the 10 in the corner, but they are a lot tighter. Uh, but the players here, were, on this weekend, yeah, we would normally play the 10 down the corner and not even worry about it. Yeah. We'd just get down and hit it, but on these, they're so much tighter. Just instead of avoiding it all. Playing in the middle. Like it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, normally, normally you just knock the tenon down the rail, but because yeah. they're a bit tighter, you've got to be perfect, and it's just the game a little bit. Conference. Yeah, exactly. You would, in Adelaide, that would have, would have been a uh, mm. long thought process. But this is just a off the hook there. It's got the biggest straw. That's what we call. Um, you, you don't have that in Sydney? We don't have that in Sydney. We have strawberries at the supermarket, yeah. but I don't know what you're saying. Well, that, that is what we would call a punnet of strawberries. Oh, oh, yeah. strawberries. Okay. That's seven six up in a final for you know, two and a half grand, and uh, not expecting a shot. That's what I call a punnet. He's, he's going into balls, so things can go wrong. See? Things can go wrong. Yeah. See, this is where... This is where the American with the pockets and whatnot, and see that that black is actually not dead. Um, so people at home might look like the black's dead, but he, all he's got to do is use the two, maybe knock the knock the twelve out. There's the twelve ball there on the left. Um, use the two or the seven, or even just roll down off the two and leave yourself the black in the corner. It's not dead. I mean, this is still a really basic finish. But as we say, it's it, fine, so. yeah. She's taking a bit of time just to assess and make sure. Do you reckon he's going to try and move the black now? I think that'd be crazy. I reckon it's suicide, but yeah, no, I don't think it's real. Open that, do you? you just need to land straight or on straightish the, yeah, on the two, or even right. on the four, like just stun over. Yeah, you don't really want to be playing the two off, off, off the 14 because then you're going to kiss the eight when it comes off the cushion. The four, as we saw Jimmy in last round, we didn't have to move anything, and that's where things went. Perfect. That's right, if you don't have to move them, don't move them at all. If you don't move them, don't bother. Yeah, I did. Played for the two. He was trying to come up a bit higher there. I actually think he tried to clip the lap. I think the right. shot we were thinking, and he was made sure that he hasn't hit it fat and left himself in the bank. himself again he's the same in snooker in two shots as well well yeah, you're right I mean, you've got to remember Joel has been around a long time um, and of all the players he's most probably had the most world exposure and playing tournaments and he through snooker and together combined combined at this tournament today so he, he's used to being in a tough situation a lot of people watching and he's, he's come through in the past so he, he feel right at home here a little bit of pressure but he knows he's done it before so Goodness gracious me. Yeah. That was, that was I don't know, it, didn't, it sounded like a bad contact to me. No, that sounded like, that looked like a big rush and uh, it didn't follow through or anything. It looked like a twitch to me. No. Uh, is, is, it Joel, is it Joel Younger playing or Chris Calabrese? Well, uh, that's where the twitches come. <laughs> oh. 
like to say, um, it's, uh, I normally don't give myself a rap on Cube TV when I'm commentating, but um, uh, our resident uh, Cube TV man, or, or one of the half, uh, Kimpton Crest, actually got thumped by me today. He beat me 9-0 last time I saw him. So he's put me on the donut train for the last probably 12 months. He has. So you got a bit of revenge today. So, Kimo, um, yeah, this is for you, buddy. <laughs> You're yeah. very ordinary today, brother. Ooh, that hurts. Say that he has given plenty of well, be, being a Sydney boy, I have to stick up for my Sydney mate. And he said he missed. Uh, well, I never said he wasn't one of the best blokes I've ever met in my life, mate. I just said he's given me plenty for that donut trick. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. Fair enough. We'll leave it at that then. All right, there you go. Seven all. He's a character. We need your characters in the game. We've always said that in the past. He's very um, animated. Very animated. He's going to the bathroom. Hopefully he stays there for 20 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully he stays there for 20 minutes to uh, a couple of hours or days. It's better to say that the um, Paulo, like, I don't know if it's been mentioned how much, um, how much cash Paulo has actually put up this weekend. They, they did extremely I, good effort to get 80 yeah, runners. Absolutely. Um, like I said, they... Um, they guaranteed the prize where a lot of venues never guarantee. They always say subject to entry, so it was great. It was great to see, um, and it would be good to see him do it at a yearly uh, basis. But we need the players' support at all times. But that was a great break by Jimmy, and yeah, it ran very smoothly too. I mean, yesterday we were out of here on time, and um, so, well, everyone, everyone had a helping hand. You know, it's the first tournament here. Even the players got behind it and helped out with the scoring and filling out the. You know the score sheet, so that was great. Yeah. Everyone, everyone just wants to play tournaments and have fun, and, and that's what's happened this weekend. Everyone's had a good time, seen some great pool. It's been good. But you see a few people hanging around too. Uh, time on Sunday. Only 15 minutes ago, you would have. This is Joel, unbelievable. Isn't it? This Joel is was going to go eight, eight, six up, or possibly even nine, five up, or nine, six, and. Looks like James going to go I actually seven. think he's run out of gas a little bit because he, um, neither of these two have really been on the drink all day either. But and it's, it can be a fitness thing, but they're both pretty fit. Yeah. Um, well, I was just commenting before Joel was eating his apple, getting his uh, sugar into him, fruit sugar. Well, uh, the missus tried to actually get Joel a drink before we played, and Joel said, uh, I, know, I swear she's, she's a genius. She's actually done it all by herself. I didn't even ask her to. And uh, he wouldn't have a bar of it. He said, No, no, I've got to focus. I've got to focus. So, I thought, uh, I thought he saw him having a West Coast coolers earlier. West Coast cooler. I yeah, I thought he was having one. It might have actually been uh, the way he carried on after his late tournament that he's been off to drink a, a pool comps ever since. Oh, yeah. Was, was that after a win or a loss? No, no, it was, it was his own room and um, it was quite humorous here for us, but it's very good. This is uh, bread and butter now. Mm. Yeah, we'll go 8 7, and who's got the break? Um, Joel will have it. And I'm going to predict a dry break and a 9 7. Because this match has just turned upside down in the last 20 minutes. Jimmy, as I was saying, is just full of confidence all of a sudden. He just doesn't miss when he's like this. Ooh, that's perfect. Yeah. You're right, he's a confidence player. He's a rhythm man, he's a rhythm man. He's got that rhythm going. Put you out the side of your head, you need a bit of rhythm. Just put some music on and see how good his rhythm is. There we go. 8 7, James. Well, there's, there's a bit of cash. There's a couple of side bets going on in this match, too, just quietly for the people at home. Well, and, uh, I don't there's think. There's a, a few that have piped right up and a few that have gone into their shell a little exactly. bit. Exactly. And um, I don't think Joel's been in this position the whole tournament. Being I reckon he needs to lose the hat, personally. Well. Hey, professional about everything else, but get the hat off, would you? 
Well, we're talking about it again, aren't we? That's what he wants. <laughs> That's, very That's what he wants. Mate, I'm not talking about it for any other reason. I've got nothing else to talk about, Chris. <laughs> but this is what it is. Everyone's going to be going to bed tonight or, or waking up tomorrow saying, why was Joel wearing that hat? No, he does rate it. Oh, I have spoken to him about it before. He does rate it. He likes it. I'll tell you what, he pulls, it, he pulls it off. He pulls it off. He doesn't actually... Uh, oh, my God. It's a Jimmy, massive Jimmy, brain. Jimmy, the gun. From memory, he doesn't actually struggle with the chips there, so he might be able to call it that. Now, this is um, very interesting. This is a rule that most people at home don't know about. Lewis has just come over to explain. If you pot the brake off the brake, and even another ball, it doesn't even matter if you pot another ball, you actually have the option of the player that has broken continues. Um, it's been a, it's a, there's a couple of tricky rules in, the, in this game. And um, he's, he's taken the option to break again. Now, the only reason he's done that is because there was balls all banked up on the side rail there. They're fucking in this my fucking friend. I'll fucking kill you with my fucking one in punch. I'm the master of the fucking kung fu, you understand? So it's um, eight, eight, seven, Joel. Okay, so it's eight seven. Joey, he's elected to re break. Obviously, he didn't like the way the balls were. Eight seven, Joel. Sorry, mistake. I said um, James, and it's I said Joel. Sorry, and it's actually James. He just got caught up in the crowd. Oh goodness, that is. There was, there was a big cluster on the left hand rail and he had no obvious shot I didn't think so but that's happened a few times um, over the weekend and people have chosen to re-rack and think they're a dollar four to get a ball for break if I get a ball off the break and that happens to me I don't care if it, there's actually a rack on the side of the table with, 15, with 14 <laughs> balls there I'm going to just take my losses and go yes I got a ball off the break and continue yeah that's, that's fair enough just break from the, <laughs> break from the side rail um, because it, it, obviously when there's clusters in this game, you, you really only have to hit them. You have to disturb them yeah, as quick as possible. And then disturb really well, is like what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is really tricky. He's, he, he's got no easy smalls to... I don't think that... The, the, obviously the three's not on. He's got the cannon on the one, but... It looks like he the might be looking at the 14. It was a 14 or 12. You know what I'd do here if I was... Oh, I can't because it's, it's on open table. It's playing a 12. Uh, is it 12 or 13? I can't say. I'm off to the toilet. This is too near breaking for me. Alright. And we have a new commentator, David Rothel. He's um, just going to fill in. Hello. Possibly for the rest of the match. Um, so that was a great try until Sonna. Well, he's on the big, so everything to play for. Basically, um, James needs to win three games. Joel needs to win four. Joel just broke. Is so it 15 on? It looks on. It looks on from... Um, if, if, if you're in line with... If you put the white where the black is, it's on. And it's any further down from that, it's not. And... Um, if you can um, pitch a centre of the table in between the two um, centre pockets, it's on from there as well. So it's on. He's really almost got to take it now. He's too straight on the nine to do anything. Oh, he thinks differently. It's hard from this camera angle. Okay, so he's going to play the ball at the top. Oh, of course. Yeah. Stun this over, play the 10. Roll the 15 in black in the middle. Something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, you're right. He'd have to play the 15 last, leave himself an angle just to pop the 15 cannon into the 6 and then play the 8 in the centre. Yeah, you're right. This is a shot here. He wants to try and get himself over towards the cushion, but not too far on the cushion. He wants to leave a little bit of angle so he can pop it off the cushion and come up to the 15. After he pops the 10. Okay, it's a bit too much. It's a bit hampered. It might be alright. 
I think we wanted that one a yeah, bit more, a bit more towards the centre pocket, a bit, a bit more away from the other ball. It's probably lucky you can cue between the 15 and the 7, actually. Yeah, if you can, it will be a bonus. Yeah, otherwise you can really only roll the 10 in, but this is fine. It's just a, it's a, it's like a stun with a little bit of left-hand side. Stun screw, you could say. And that's perfect. Sure. Well, it's not perfect. We wanted to land a bit more. These type of shots get points a lot when you just try and roll them in. Make sure we don't screw it. Yeah, right. Well, that's going to drift towards the back, you think? Shot. That's a shot. He left himself that angle so he could hit it firm, came into the six, and the white would stop. That's a nice shot. And there goes the eight. Eight all. That's right, eight all. Jimmy to break. It's all on. Eight all. Eight all. Race to three. So basically a race to three now, guys. Race to 11, eight all, means race to three. Anyone's game. 50 50. Race to three for $1,500. Exciting. Exciting stuff. Comments are bent back with David Ruffle. Change the commentary. It's the uh, two Premier Victorian pool players, Ben Noonan and Lewis Condo. That was the Roth. Roth. The nanotech scientist. Like Louis, that is a massive, massive break, massive spread. Does the 10 cannon onto the 15? And if so, it's not. Eight. That's a fair call. If it Unless does, the 12 is not a dollar four in the middle pocket. Definitely playing for the 10 onto the 15. We well, didn't really have any other choice, but it'd be interesting to see. Fairly big shot in the scope of the game, isn't it? Doesn't need to over hit this either, really. Isn't that really in the top yeah. Place? So where's his mid cut to the um, to the twelve? Does he play now? Ten to the twelve. Oh, Ten to the eleven. I think it's no brainer. There's a couple of choices here. I'll tell you what, my fight. Can you tell me what, choi what, what he's going to do. Well, I'm just seeing that. Mate, I'm sorry, but I'm just getting a bit clouded because I, I think my 500 is not looking real good at the moment. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> want to bring that up, but I'm <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> Finding it hard to think, actually. I'm going to get the review a bit now. This is good. It's all, it's all good, though. We know the wife's not this one. She wouldn't be interested in this unless you were in the phone. Yeah, she, either or either, she still wouldn't be fucking listening. But. So uh, it's after 11 o'clock, is it? What's the time? After 10.30, I'm allowed to swear, Ben. Oh, is she? Apologise to the ladies and those who were offended, then I do apologise. Right, now, um, do you reckon it's hard to tell from here whether, that, whether the 12 ball goes in the middle? Oh, um, I, don't, I don't like his, his gain from the 12 to the 14, actually. That's what I'm saying, he hasn't really seen the pattern. No, he hasn't gone about it. He's going to play a big shot somewhere to get on. Mm. To get back on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be happy with but this. I say, Jimmy, Jimmy plays more for. He's uh, a lot looser than Joel. Like he, he's happy to. He's going to leave in the corner now. This is, this is a tricky shot. Unless it he, he can't roll that. <coughs> obviously, obviously, this is only on down the corner. The way he's played it. I suppose it is actually just a natural top spin through though to link up to the thing, to the uh, 14. Still, I think it's a bit dodgy. Oh, it does go in the middle. Well, it does. It went easy. There you go. That went easy. 
There you go. Hard to see sometimes from where we are. Played it okay then, really. Finish. Because that was that was the natural linking ball. Yeah. This is a huge frame. No need to brush or anything. He needs to get the rest out, I think, by the looks. I don't honestly think, Louis, that... Oh. Wow. This would be a good feeling if he misses. Shabbat! Shabbat! Good one! You don't want to be Chinese. He, he, he plays snooker, I'm surprised he didn't rest there. Do you know who's Jen Delaney? <laughs> now you know. Fix up! Fix up! So spend some time over this, so it's not on the forum. We've got a bit of crowd issues here at the moment, so don't hold it against James. He's jacking up. Fix He's up, punched it. Touch him wow, that was solid, eh? How solid was that? Well, he spent some time over as I was saying before. Fix up, fix up. He's got some little He's poses himself. So it's good to see you from Jimmy. Flick the wrist of that, that's a good option when you jack it up and keep a soft wrist, keep everything loose. So we're at 9-8? Yes, yes, we're at 9-8. And the boys that normally flick the score of the left, uh, just for the minute, and I have no idea how to flick it. There we go, I fluked it ladies and gentlemen, I did manage to digitally change the score. Joel's break, however. I'm going to make I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a... Uh, probably not a rash comment and say that there will not be another ball missed in this match. There's only three frames. It's a fair comment. Possibly four to go. I wouldn't bet against that. I think it's a fair call. Jeez. Oh, is this Hogan drop? Uh, uh, no. Oh, I think, uh, I think I think Joel's in trouble. He had a big tune in the second ball up early on. And with the alternate break, that's a, that is a big gap. It is. The three, three frame gap in, in this game at this level with the alternate break is a nice nice cushion. Yeah. Um, and he didn't take his opportunity and when he knew it was 6-5 and then 6 all. But Jimmy just grew a leg after that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Good point, Ben. Just pointed out there. It's good to assess the frame sometimes. Keep yourself tight. Yourself tight. Be conscious of the swings that can happen, you know. 7-4 seven, seven, opposed to... 6-5 if you lose the frame. You know. It's easy. We know it's easy to take the foot off just for that one shot. Exactly. It takes one shot. It's going to be a three-foot shot. Yeah. You should be conscious of that all times, really. It does keep you sharp. It will keep you honest. It is impossible. This is not ABC. This, the, smalls are, the smalls have to be considered. They're blocking the 11 down here in this corner. However, you got the, the 6, the 1, the 7, which... A little bit congested amongst themselves. He's looking at the uh, looking at taking bigs and actually looking at the eleven onto the five and then pot the eleven as well and continue on. Or possibly block block the pocket in any case. No, he's triple cannon here, is it? Six two four. There we go. It's still very very tricky. I mean, he's on I like one. it. Oh, no, no, I like it now. Yeah. I like it. If the five goes under the five goes under the twelve up the top here. And it actually is ABC because you can use, you can get to the side rail, with play, the, play the six on the two, the green on the blue, and uh, catch either the eleven or the three over over towards the other pocket, and that's pretty much basic. Yeah, and now it's got to, he's only got to run up the other end once to lock that five in up there. He's opened it up nice, all in one shot. Joel, Joel's, um, Joel's, look at, Joel's looking at him quite intensely now. I've noticed throughout that match, Joel hasn't really zoomed in or, or locked eyes with, with Jimmy, but he's... I'm actually surprised Jimmy's, um, Jimmy's 
Jimmy in this mood, well, I don't think he can get away from you. When he gets in this sort of mood, it's... Yeah. I'll tell you what, that was pretty wide. It that. did look from our end that it missed. Um, that's the that. we're looking at that they've just put up on the screen, and that was wide. That was wide. Caught pretty much the... That was the limit there. He wasn't trying to be that far out with the light, so... I might just shut my mouth. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, it's all, again, there's a couple, is there a couple of breaks in it? So let's say Jimmy Woods is 10, 10-8, ten that's his break. It's Jimmy's break next, too. Just, just don't make me think, you know, this is, this is a basic finish. Like, not basic, I shouldn't say basic, it's not ABC, but it's, but I like to look at this, um, how, how devastated would someone be if they finished a clearance like this, and Jimmy would want to kill himself if he missed his clearance. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Not into the black, Dave, saying after pot this. He should be able to pot his way. Yeah, see, that's 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 perfect. See, I'm not, I'm I'm not there for that shot. I'm potting the three, the six in screwing up for the five. Um, he's giving himself. What he's done there is giving himself an option of two. He's playing for two balls at once. I don't think so. I think he played flat for the five. I just, I just don't like. I knew he's got the back up with the six there. Mm. I'm all ears, Benny. I'm not, not as au fait with this game as you, but I'd rather pot the black into a corner without having to send the black past the centre pocket. Yeah, but I, I really like the way he played. He's played for two different balls. If he really got out of shape. Um, okay, fair enough. Yep. That's just yeah, different yeah. opinion. Yeah. That's And you know, I've noticed today I've been I've been incorrect several times anticipating how they're going to pot out. But the, the worst thing is that I've been most incorrect when I'm potting out that I didn't pot out. It's just that April thing and seeing the packs compared to um, other games. That's all it is. You know, as much as we discussed this way and that way, it's a bit awkward. He's looked comfortable, a hundred percent comfortable throughout this frame. Well played, Jimmy, Jimmy, that's all she wrote. I'm finding I'm a little bit uncomfortable here, folks, at the moment, uh, for people at home. Uh, I don't want to get hit by an old fire microphone, but I know that um, Louis's not like that. Peanuts to him, so you won't be too overly upset if he gets rolled here. Nah, look to. I am pretty surprised over Joel. Oh, I'm still, I'm still hoping Joel wins because I like seeing Joel turn up. You know, I want to see him come back, see him pl start playing again. Oh, I'm actually sick of him turning up, mate. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Still my head in. Knocked me out of eight ball, nine ball. Sorry, eight ball snooker and now Yeah. Full tournament. Come up dry, but what's he got in here, Joel? Well, Joel's got a picky. He, he can knock the four in. Get on the spoils. He's got the four in down the rail for the bigs. Bit of a cluster there. Yeah, it's one of those ones though that you're, you're not overly excited to get at, at uh, turn eight. You'd, you'd like just an open table and just run in and run the rack in about fifty seconds. And yeah. Excuse me, and then go. Um, yeah, how, how about yeah. I'm about to break your game make it to normal. Have you had any racks like that today? Because I certainly haven't. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? Just had a couple of quick frames there in the latter part of your semi. Yeah, oh. that's because it was the one time I actually had the break but I was already too much down, mate, so it was a bit hard. You weren't even feathering. I'm sure that you knocked those frames over almost, you know, within the 50, 60 cents second mark. It's quite impressive. that far behind and try and convince the bike you're playing that you're not going to go away. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to work. Well, oh, might have mucked Robbie Calvary's head up playing that quick, but... Robbie still says that he's a good player in Australia. Yeah, it's, um... He might not say that. But he's slow. Really? Has he said that to you? He doesn't like the comments about being slow. Well, Dizzy used to get a lot in the snooker, the professional snooker too. But they give him heaps about that.
So I think he's probably going to play a three here off, off uh, the side rail, back off the other side rail and try and land sort of on your right hand side of the table. Um, I think the seven goes, he's going to have to probably use the seven ball to, to count the blackout. So he can actually, if you get in the right position, he can. Oh, Joel, what are you doing? You know, you know, I didn't. No, it is hard. It Benny, is hard out there. I didn't want to say anything, but going back about five, six, four, five, six frames ago, Joel's whole body language changed. He looks tired to me. He, he's his eyes just he just doesn't doesn't look as sharp. He's looking anxious. Well, it's been a big day. It's been a long day. Joel's probably not so used to the long days as what Jimmy is. Uh, Joel's getting back into it a bit. You've got to remember, Jimmy hasn't had a result in like this or as good a player as he is. We all know how play Jimmy is. And he, and he was dominating there for about 12 months in the nine ball and seeing him here. And he hasn't really won anything for a while. Um, and uh, I'm just reckon the expectation. I'll tell you what, that was lucky to go in. Let's, come, let's click the ball on the way through. And don't try and tell me he played for it because he didn't. I oh don't know, he's a bit of a mess now. But you can be on me that um, especially in this game, you can't tell me that when players have have the wood on someone, as much as the bloke their opponent, like me with Joel, as much as I don't want to believe that he's got the wood on them, they, they just grow a leg because they just don't think they can get you. And it goes in runs and, and whatnot, and I just think maybe, I don't know how many times Joel has it might have nothing to do with that, but it seems to happen more often these days. If the player can't get someone, they, they'll lose two or three or four times in a row, and then it might turn the other way. Yeah, so I'm trying way. to think if they played, have they ever played each other? I can't think of a time that they've played. Oh. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. No, in general you're right, but um, with these two, I, I don't think they've played. I can't remember when they have played each other. But I, gotta, I mean, I know Joel's going pretty well. He's not thinking stuff like that. I'm pretty sure Jimmy's not thinking like that. No. no you're probably um, right. I'm not going to say certain players, but... No, you're thinking... Don't tell me if you, think, if you haven't beaten someone six or seven or eight times in a row, then you just don't... Then you just know you've got them mentally covered. I mean, it's not something you think about the, mm. whole, the whole time, but you just... You walk in and yeah. Yeah. In the old days, I used to think like that. These days, I'm turning that one if I'm going to kill right. So. <laughs> I'm not run back, yeah. It's become irrelevant whether I've beaten him 40 times previously. Well, two um, years ago, you would agree with him, right? Anyway, I, don't I would have. Any correct? Back two years. Yes, correct. 100. percent Sorry, useless conflict conversation for people at home. Maybe but not. There will be, there will be Maybe some not. People, mate, there will be some people at home watching and going, oh, yeah, you're right, I can't beat that bloke at the pub. Yeah. But it's amazing then that guy that they can't beat, beat beats, beats a guy that you can't beat. You, you know, it's just crazy. But it is the way it goes. Yeah. For example, because not so much talking about your opponent rather than your um, yeah. necessarily ability. Um, you really shouldn't miss if you get a ball off the break in this game. Mm. It comes down to your mental state and how fit you are, as we were talking about. It's pretty late. He's been playing all day. I think that they're keeping a standard. I'm quite impressed with the standard this late in the night. It's still good, yeah. Yeah. Ten tend to see your really sharp hot matches, quarters last 16 quarters, not so much your semis or your finals. I think, I think eight ball's draining too. Alright, we'll get back to the game a little bit here. Pretty big behind the computer. Is that Hollywood? Is that it's housing? Man, yeah. Yeah. He's making some slight comments is online. He, yeah. Is he still around? Is he that mate? He's still around. Is he 
haven't seen you tour. Or? Um, well, I'm not sure if he's decided that he is a senior. Yet. I'll just have to ask him. <laughs> ask him next time you see him. He's not still outspoken, is he? The old, the old housing. When he wants to be. Yeah. yeah. When he wants to be. But he's all right. He's all right. Knowledgeable player, actually. Very knowledgeable. He's good. We actually, we actually uh, talked him into buying a uh, predator queue. He had a hit a two shot. Are you serious? Predator, <laughs> predator queue, and he goes, "I want one. How do I get one?" <laughs> and, um, wow. So he's tried to play safe there. He's played the. Uh, he might have called the five and tried to follow through with it. This fourteen, I don't, I don't think the fourteen's on. I'm trying to work out whether he's got away with this or not. I think he may have. Jimmy's proceeding as if he can pop the fourteen. He's looking at the nine down the rail. Seems like he's, he's got something, got something in his head. Yeah, uh, he's I got an idea. He might try a short little hop, little jump, maybe to pop the 14. Maybe you would, but us April players that don't play much of this. And I suppose Jimmy plays a fair bit of this game, but... It's either that or the 14 is just on. Jump shot, he can play a cannon. Yeah. Look, it's either that or this 14 on with a bit of squirt or a tiny bit of side or something. Yeah, he's, he's squirted him with a bit of side. Going, Good question, Ben. To link up to the to the thirteen, this is a this be a massive clearance to win. Yeah, a massive clearance. I, I think he's actually got to run this through, try and leave himself an angle on the. Uh, what's that up the top? The fifteen up the top. It's a thirteen. No. Is there two orange balls on the table? There is. That's the pink twelve up the top, Ben. Yeah, it's the pink twelve. That's not pink. That's orange. Either way, it's fucking. He's got to get it in. <laughs> Who cares? We've realised realize it's 1080 in the final race to 11. <laughs> <laughs> it's round and it's his and he's got a pot it. Sorry, John, we should stop talking like that. I know you don't like it. I can't believe Housen's still saying, please talk about the game. We, th we thought if we talk about him, he might cop it sweet. And don't care if we don't talk about the game, but no, he's right under the game. Okay, this is the shot, in my opinion, of the tournament. This could be the match. I'd like to know what uh, Hollywood's opinion would be on this visit, because he's obviously played for the 15 in the middle. Um, he's going to play in the corner. This is the tough shot. This is, really tough shot. This is the ball. That was a big call. Yeah. Big call, yeah. But the six will open up that pocket for Joel. Um, he might get in with the red, the three here. Um, side bet on this. <laughs> Holly, would you want to have a side bet on this? Please write it up on uh, cue ball. I'm banning myself from betting. I think I'm already down a few thousand here. No, I, I actually think that 15 is a really tricky spot. It's not It's not in a... You can't follow through on it and I don't reckon that... I don't reckon the six will squeeze you. It just seems like it's off the knuckle enough where that six could squeeze in. I don't reckon it will fit. I just don't think it will fit. But you know, when, when the six collides into it, the side rail first. It's got enough room to then hit into the bottom cushion some more. I think it'll get out of the way. Well, it is a miracle. We haven't heard from Hock for at least uh, 15 minutes. He's unconscious in the cubicles. Well, that saves me uh, shouting him a drink seen the pink come out of the table. I tell you what, from this angle, the, the shade was good. My bad. Sorry, Hollywood. Hollywood's got 
Yeah, so Housen, I agree with you too, Housen. I think the six will go. Sense no sarcasm at all with that comment, Benny. I love you, Johnny. Even if you're going to play two shot eight ball with 12 on the tip, I would find that very generous. Louis, what's he doing? Well, he's, he's, he's hit that with a lot of side. Uh, he's playing for the check five. side. He's playing for the five underneath. Oh, I um, know. Oh, I've, I've got this all week. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, call, he's going to call the two. He's going to play safe. He's going to knock the two under the 15. You okay. can leave him dead up there. This is clever. very, very clever. This is what you get. This is what we missed that, didn't we, Ben? We missed, we missed that. And this is why he's a pretty intelligent player when it comes to this sort of thing because he's now going to put himself straight in the position based on one shot. He's still got to play it well. So pop the 15. Okay, so again, folks, un he's unlike... He's under-hit it. He's under-hit it what yeah. he wanted to, but he's, he's really left nothing. I mean, mm. what do you do? Play, play the 12 with a heap of side and try and... No. Oh, I just want to go back to that shot. Just, just a reminder. Well, just a reminder. Opposed to two shot, that is a clever shot because if you do hit your ball first, pot your opponent's ball, it's simply loss a shot. You lose your visit to the table. It's not a foul. It's a big shot, Jimmy. Shop it in. Oh, oh. he's on it too. Wow. And I'll tell you what, I've got to say this. Any other venue in the country that was in. And he's the middle of the block. <laughs> it goes in, <laughs> Eddie. And what people don't see at home is that the table they're playing on is actually probably one of the bigger like, pockets in the room. It's three up at the front. You build really yeah, I think they're a bit overdone, though. That's ridiculous, those. No, table one, two, three, the pull over. We want to get sharp and have a good practice session near the tables to play on. We must admit though that the, the tables are all play, the cross play identical, the yes. play identical. Yes. It's all you want, you want consistency in the tournament. Mm. Um, same with two shots, same with snap, you just want to be able to go from one table to another and uh, feel the same pace and cushions and this yeah. is probably one of the only places you can in any tournament in Australia. Like that. That's right. And subsequently you'll end up with your best players too, consistently, towards the end of tournaments. That's what we're seeing here. Play on the tight table, that's bad. Well, yeah, I'm getting old, Ben, I think, mate. Well, the man with the hat shot, Joel. Shot, mate. Still alive. And you just know he doesn't miss this. This is a queuing shot. He just stuns over for the black in the, in the other corner. But I'm saying that, saying that earlier in this match and, and all day, he would have knocked this six in and been on the black already as we're speaking. He's gone around, had a look at the black. He won't miss this one, this will be completely out of character. <coughs> oh my god, John. Yeah, it's, he's in a different rhythm. <coughs> I, I can see it, he's in a different rhythm. I can see the shot he's got though already, just what he did five minutes ago, or two minutes ago. Play the black on the 13, pop the 13, send the white up the other end of the table, leave the black over the hole, and leave Jimmy no shot. Maybe a double. That's his only option. He's severely under cues up there, that was strange. He, he caught up pretty full too, Ben. He said it full into the pocket, so that obviously. Pretty angle though, that was a field shot. I mean, he's, 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 he's in it. That way, he was too full. Yeah. I don't actually think, uh, I think it's borderline impossible to say he's feeling the pinch and worried about the cash because uh, I don't really think it's a pressure thing. I think he's just running the gas. Yes, yeah. And, uh, I see it in his face. He's tired. About, yeah. I, I saw it, you know, six, seven frames ago now.
Why is he still thinking about this? Not only that, I think he's lost a one eighth of the pocket, but possibly a quarter, quarter of the pocket. Oh, look at this bloke! What a what an animal! An animal that is the younger. No need for words there. Well done, Joel. enough kick that, that should energize him something like that it doesn't go down to 11 10 um, I know you prefer it to go down 11 10 but uh, I mean, everyone, everyone would wouldn't they it would be a shame they've been the best two players all day so mm. oh he's got a ball he's gone the, he's gone the second ball break and he's got everything and he's landed fat on the spalls He's landed fat on the smalls. Not sure he's got an option of trying to pocket a big from here, but I think the smalls are sweet enough. Like this, I understand the time we're finishing is a bit, um, it's far too late to probably do the money match sort of situation where you got to win by two. A lot of money matches, do you think the final should be won by two? Just because of the, because of the break? Oh, look, when I'm, when I'm, win a match on the hill, I don't feel like I've really achieved much. Um, and when I get beaten for 8-11-10, I don't feel like I've been beat really so I think if time time's given and there's that allowance I, I'm, I'd back that win by two frames is the go for me I think you should cap it though maybe an example of capping is if it is race to 11 it gets capped at 15 or um, you know it's got to stop somewhere yeah So much as with nine ball and ten ball, it's easy to get a ball for breaking nine ball, but to be able to get on the ball, get on the one or two or whatever, it's probably not as easy as this game. But so many options. But I think this is probably the one American game where you, you should have to win by two. Just because the break is so important. Obviously, during the tournament, you can't, but the final maybe. It's something to look at anyway. He's just tired. You know, you, you can overanalyze it uh, all day long, all night long. The, the fact is, these guys have been concentrating intensely all day long. That's, that's a shot that, like, you imagine being down on that shot, right? He hasn't got, he, it's not a position of shot, he's only he's two balls from the end. He'll, he won't see that as tired, that's, that was just, 
Um, but it, it's such a contrast to how they've been playing all day. You know. I don't know, these pockets are funny things, you know. Is that in on, on another venue? Is it in? Oh, it's hard to say. No, you missed that by a fair way. You missed that way outside the pocket. I just really wanted to see this go. Ten each, I think he deserved, deserved that, so... You can tell Jimmy's fitness. I mean, he, he runs in marathons, all jokes aside. Jimmy looks fresh. Right up, yeah. he, he looks fresh to me. Tell me that's a massive advantage. Fit as a fiddle, this man. He steered that in a bit, steered it in with his head a little bit. But that's. He's there. I think this is it. I can't see Jimmy making an error here. Jeez, he did this quick, didn't he? he went about it pretty quick. Had a look for, what, 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds at the start, and off he goes. When someone misses something so easy, you just gain confidence. You just, it's automatic confidence. Yeah. yeah. And the Roth is behind us right now. He's pretty right with his $50, $50 win. Yeah, well, Jimmy, well done, mate. Congratulations. Well done, James. Well done, Jimmy D. Well, Benny, I've oh, got two, three, four years. That, that's, this is the best quality of pool I've seen throughout a day in, in the, on our American tables in at least two or three years. Well, that, that was... That, overall, yeah, overall. Tournament, yeah. Class. Really, really good stand -up. Yeah. So, right on to Pullo and uh, obviously q TV. They don't, yes. the, they don't get the raps they deserve. Yes. And let's hope this is the, the start of an annual event here at Pullo Room. So We're pop in all you two shot players watching. Um, what you'll notice is Stevie Tran and Jake McCartney never played this game before, and, and they've made the quarters and semis. So it's uh, it's great fun. We've all had a ball and uh, picked up some good money too, not to mention some real good money. And um, and literally, what what they don't understand the two shot players is they can buy a cube for three hundred dollars, like credit rather than paying a thousand dollars. Yeah. So yeah. If that's the issue. Get on board. Enjoy everyone. All the best. Good night.